All right, and hello there, and well, welcome to the first of, again, what I hope to be many videos related to, to, well, th this one's, this particular one is going to be related to fines, what I call a weekend's fines, so that's, at least that's what I'm trying to call it, right? Um, this is kind of like a postback, mailback Monday type of video, uh, postback videos, right, where I show you what I got, but instead of on the postbacks or mailbacks, uh, on the mail, which I'll show you that too in the future when I get some, is I'm going to show you what I was able to find on the weekend. Because usually, almost every single weekend, uh, at least I've been doing it for the past two years maybe? Yeah, about two years now, three years. Uh, of course, well, it's been about three, but since, you know, we got the virus, I haven't been so... There, there was this time we stopped for a, for quite a while actually, right? But we keep going. Um, we do, of course, well, healthy... Uh, um, we we'll take our precautions, right? Health precautions. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna try to show you what I got on the weekend. We go to this place. It's called Asobre Ruedas here in Mexico. I'm from Mexico, and it's like a combination of a, a flea market, garage sale, um, like a swap meet, but it's out in the open, right? It, it's open. It's this big space. There's like they they sometimes take a big street when there's two like a. Two lanes, for example, a big street. It's not really on the on the lane. It's it's just streets. I'll I'll try to record some uh, some footage of it one day. But we we'll just go there, and you look for it again. It's like a like a swap meet or a garage, like a flea market, more like a flea market and garage sale combination. Because there's people that just you can just go if you want. You talk to the to the guy in charge. It's um and and they give you a space. You can just pay a small fee. Uh, if you convert it into dollars, which is more is the most general currency, right? It's about it depends on the day, but it can be anywhere up to five dollars a day, right? Just pay five dollars, you go and you just put your stuff there, and you can sell it. Uh, you can even trade, of course. It, it depends on the person, right? You can mostly sell, but you can also trade if you if you start talking to the person. You can just bargain for it, get uh, stuff cheap. But yeah, that, that's what it is. I'll try to get some footage, or at least some pictures for you guys to see. If you're interested, of course, just let me know. All right, now I'm going to stop because I love to talk. And I'm going to start showing you what we got uh, this weekend, which is basically the... Um, well, it's the first... I got a couple of things before, as I mentioned. I've been going there for a while now. But we're going to show you what we got in this past week. And two is a combination of two, right? I'll show you that. All right, as I was mentioning, we go to this place and, and basically you start going there... And people have their stuff in tables or something just on the floor, laying on the floor in a blanket. It's just go see. There's everything. There's clothing, uh, food. Uh, and by food, I mean there's some uh, some places that sell actual food. Pizza places, uh, tacos, um, little things like that. And the other side, just supplies. Like for, It's kind of like you're going to the, to the groceries, right? You can buy a lot of stuff there. You can buy miscellaneous, right? And there's these places that we call the chacharitas, which basically you just go there and you you, you check it out. You see what they what they have. They have some some uh, some places, some puestos you call it, uh, some spots. <laughs> they have a lot of stuff, like a combination of everything. And you just go there and just pick it out, just check it, and pick what you want. You cherry pick basically. Now sometimes if you get there early, uh, this is what we got this week. Um, we got this right here. This is just a portable uh, amplifier, like a guitar amplifier. There's this um, phone jack. It's just basically a, a regular headphone jack. Uh, two uh, inputs for uh, guitar chords or guitar inputs and a DC 9 volt jack. I got it just because it came, well, for two reasons, right? Oops. Uh, it's it's cool. It's a little amplifier. I got a battery right here. It came with a battery actually. It was one of these batteries. Mm, positive, negative. And I got it because first it had the batteries. Second, it's a little amplifier. So I was gonna test it out. Did I put it the wrong way? I think I did. Now, you're supposed to <laughs> you're supposed to put this piece right here from the other side. Now let's do it this way so we don't cause a short. You see? We're learning already. 
it's a positive and negative. I'll put it the other way around. You're supposed to put, for those, I mean, a lot of people know, I'm sure, but you put this piece down here, and then you put the battery, push it in, and that's it. So when you want to take it out, just pull it out, and that's it. Easy. Push it in, put the batteries. So I got this little amplifier, right? It may not be a lot, it's just small, and I'm sure it doesn't work as good. It's just a little amplifier. It works. I got it because it was 50 cents, basically. Each one. I got... Well, got them. I got four of them. They all turned on. At least they all turned on. I got it because they were little amplifiers. You can use it for projects. And they had a battery. Each one of them had a battery. So 50 cents for a battery and a little amplifier. I mean, even if you don't really use it as is, or as if it was intended, you can still use the, the circuits. You can use the little amplifier board, the inputs. You can use the little switch. You can use a little box as a, a project box. You know, you can use a lot of things. And mainly, you can use the battery, right? You gotta take it out. But yeah, it was pretty cool. And again, it was only 50 cents for each one. So I got four of them. There were like two more, but I only got four. So I'm not gonna use a lot, right? I got four of them. And I tested one, just quickly got home and tested it. And, but it didn't really, one of them really didn't work. The other one I tried it and it didn't work on the headphone jack, but it worked on the on the phone jack, on the guitar jack. So I'm gonna do for it, further testing on them. We're gonna experiment <laughs> on them, but I'll be in the future. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so oh, I also got this adapter. It's a 12 volt DC. 3 amp or 3000 milliamps uh, adapter. This is pretty cool. It's really good. You you may need it sometimes for uh, if you're working with lights or just in general, right? But if you're working with LED lights, for example, to test and you want to drive a little, uh, uh, a longer strip, you need higher amperage. So you got 3 amps right here, 12 volts, or you got to connect something else. Just, just a little adapter. Mm. We also got this right here. This is pretty cool. It didn't have the little battery cover, but it works. It's a Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth optical mouse. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh, the adapter, if I remember correctly, this was 50 cents as well. And so was this, 50 cents. And it works. Again, I tested it. It works really good. Bluetooth mouse. You never know when you need it. I already tested it with my phone. Um, I also got, oh, this right here. It's a, it's a clock kit, as it says, right? It's a little clock kit. It's pretty cool. This was, I think it was like 25 cents. There's some places or some spots, some puestos that they all have different prices, right? But some of them, they just get a pile of stuff, just put it in a table and they label it the tables, right? It's This one's for 10 pesos uh, or 50 cents, right? The other ones, I don't know, a dollar, 20 pesos. Um, or three for 10, which is tres por diez or, or Three for uh, 50 cents, basically. Yeah, three for 50 cents. Now, this one, if I remember correctly, it was like 25 cents. But let's say it was 50 cents as well, which is pretty good. I've seen them on Amazon, eBay. Uh, they go for about the eight, 10, 12 dollars, depending on the brand, right? But this one right here is pretty cool. You never know. I have a clock over there that I gotta, I gotta check. And it's cool. Um, I also got this right here. And this, you may not believe it, right? It was basically free. It was one peso, which is what five cents. That's it. And um, I got it for parts. I didn't see it right away. I just grabbed it because it was in the, in that little bin, that little box. Um, it has the European plug, and well, I don't have a 212 volt um, input or jack right here, a plug. But it doesn't matter because I only got it for the for parts. You know, to experiment. You got a hot plate right here. You got the resistance inside, the heating resistance. You got a little knob, which most likely is just a mechanical one. Uh, you got the the cord that works. You got a little LED right here, uh, 212 volts. Most likely it's gonna work in 110. And yeah, so that's what I got it for, just to 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 use it, right? To experiment, and it was super cheap. And lastly. I got this right here, which is basically just um, a thermometer, it was? Like a weather station. Let's see, is it connected? Yeah, there you go. That's it. And that's all there is. And it works. It works. Only thing is, I mean, it didn't come with the 
with the sensor. You're supposed to pair uh, another sensor. You just go here. I think it was right here. But you gotta set it up first, I'm guessing. But yeah, you can change uh, sensors. And, oops, oops, you can also use batteries. Oh, I had the battery, that's true. I mean, I'll take it out before they run out. But yeah, you can use it this way. It's pretty cool. And this again, I think it was like 25 cents. It's pretty cheap. And I mean, I couldn't let it go. I thought it was this. I, I, at first, I thought it was a clock because it has the, the little clock symbol, right? It has the snooze button, whatever. So I thought it was an alarm, which it also works as an alarm, but it's mainly a, like a little weather station alarm combo. And it was so cheap, so I just got it. I have one, but you know, you can use another one. That's mainly what I got in this trip. Although, that is true. We got. Where are they? I put those separate. There's this. Well, it's just basically this right here. <laughs> this is a little adapter contraption that I made. It's just little adapters, right? Little stands for phones or cameras. And I just put it right here. So I just put it in this one. And that, that's it. And I got those free because they were just left out there. People sometimes just leave stuff when, when they had to leave. They just leave. They just want to take stuff with them back home. And they just just put them there, like on the floor. They just leave them. And we were just passing by and we saw it. And I got it. So, yeah. This was this week's finds. This weekend finds. I'm sorry for that. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys like it um if you like i can i mean we're gonna see this in the future right because we're gonna experiment with them we're gonna see uh what can we do with them hopefully some good experiments use the parts use the pieces um i gotta organize everything as well i just get the bags and just put them on the side so i can start um, well now i do that right because i was as i was mentioning i've been doing this for quite a while and well I'm going to start recording it and trying to document it and, and upload it for you guys and for me as well, right? Just to have a little a little record of everything. I'm having fun with it and I hope you guys have fun as well watching it. Um, well, yeah, we'll see this in the future. I mean, if you want me to kind of explain what I know about it, which most of the times is just self-explanatory, most of them. Um, but yeah, just let me know. And oh well, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Yeah. But thank you, and well, see you next time.